Welcome to Advices Media. This is Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone which you are watching it right now on your screen. And in this video we will be checking out on how exactly you can install the Jelly Bean 4.2.1 firmware version. To start with, you need to head over to the link which is mentioned just below this video to head back to the AndroidAdvices.com website where we have mentioned a detailed tutorial. Go through the instructions which are mentioned in the prerequisite section and then in the procedure which is mentioned in the second page, download the zip package of the firmware along with the ODIN. Now extract both of these zip files in your computer's desktop preferably and open ODIN in your computer as you can see it right on your screen as well. So assuming that you have downloaded both the firmware and the ODIN and extracted both of these into the desktop, connect your device to the computer with the help of original USB cable. So I'll be now connecting the device with the help of original USB cable. But hey, before you do that, you need to ensure that your device is in download mode. And to get your device into the download mode, first need to turn off the device. So once your device is powered off completely, you will be a short vibration kind of thing on your device which will confirm that your device is now turned off completely. Now to get your device into the download board, press the volume down key, then the menu button, keep holding these two buttons and then press the power button. After that you will be getting this warning screen after which just press the volume up key and hey there is a download mode screen now connect the device with the help of computer using the original USB cable the ID com section will turn blue which will indicate that all the drivers have been successfully installed now all you need to do is click on PDA and then select the tar file which you will be getting upon extraction of the firmware zip file that is i9300 x UFM B3 once you have selected that, just click on open. You have to wait for a bit. So now as you can see that the PDA section is loaded. Now ensure that these options are matched with that of yours. That is auto reboot should be ticked. F reset time should be ticked. Apart from that rest all options should be unticked. And then just click on start to start the process of firmware update through and also in the meanwhile you can see that a progress bar will be there on your device indicating the firmware update process please note that the whole process of firmware update may take around 4 to 5 minutes depending upon many factors so we'll keep the phone side till the time of the firmware update The best part of this 4.2.1 firmware update is that this, this firmware brings in a lot of features which are there of Galaxy S4. Be it eye scrolling or the wallpapers or the overall feel with the nature UX UI which is there actually in Galaxy S4. Once the device is updated we will obviously run down you through the list of things. So guys as you can see that the, the COM port 5 was failed it immediately took over to the COM port 6 so exactly it could get through and now the firmware update is now being processed 
So now to always ensure that the USB ports are open. Now you can see that the progress bar 2 is indicating that almost the firmware update process is done. And also you can go through the list of processes over here. So the Samsung logo, which I'm seeing it right now. So it, it will take a bit longer time than expected since it's the first time the device is being booted. So that keep your patience till then. And also don't disconnect the device from the computer. As you can see that Android is upgrading or optimizing the applications. There are 78 applications in all as you can see that on your screen which is actually the count is increasing. You may however disconnect the device from the computer but it's not recommended till the time you see any screen like the language selection or the country selection or the one which is which will be showcased just after this this screen so as you can see that the home, home screen has been displayed now you can actually disconnect the device from the computer so there you go we'll now be reviewing this from, apart from the what are the new features which are there in this so now we have kept our laptop aside so as to ensure that you get the most out of the firmware as we'll be explaining what are the new features which are there in this device to start with the touch if you see it the touch sensitivity has been increased and also you can swipe to the left and to the right for accessing the camera as well as any other application which you wish to set it there's actually a user interface which is already there in the nexus 4 smartphone and the same has been bought in here also by samsung so once i unlock there's a drop down menu as you can see that on the top navigation bar you've got time and date which is the normal one in fact you've got the settings and also another option wherein you can get the extended menu so this is the extended menu which you're watching it right now to disable that again just tap on this and on the home screen as usual you can see that the five options that is the phone the phone contacts messaging internet and apps let's check out how exactly the dialer app has been changed or not so as you can see that the dialer app is pretty much the same and now let's proceed to the apps so these are the applications which which are coming in this device by default as you can see that all share play calculator dropbox gallery google plus gmail the play store and the smmo apps let's check out what are their new in settings first check the first let's check the version what this device comes along with for that you need to go to the about settings and then there you go you can see that the android version is 4.2.1 and the baseband version is ddlh1 So as you can see that I have enabled the developer options by tapping on the about section go to the developer options which are actually the same thing which are otherwise there but we have got additional options like simulate secondary displays enable 4x mx AA and the profile GPU rendering a bunch of new options which are there in this developer options apart from that this also has got the S Cloud with which you can actually link your Dropbox account or you can actually add the Samsung account after that you've got the lock screen options wherein you can actually disable or enable the ripple effect widget on lock screen set wake up command and also in the screen lock option you've got the standard options of lock let's check out the wallpapers what this one has got but the here the best part is we'll just show you let's head over to the gallery and 
and suppose if I am going to my camera previously there used to be a top navigation bar which is there in this over here the top one but now that has been removed and it's now completely black as you can see that this portion is extended to this as well the top navigation bar I'm talking about so now the image is covering the full screen that's the best part another thing you've got in settings let's go to the settings in sounds you've got an option of my sound so it's sounds actually you can find a new option called my sound you can actually find the best call sound for you and use this during the calls whose the procedure is mentioned over here so this are the new option which is there let's check out what are the other things which are there in this the display option here you have got the page buddy and also the the smart rotation and the smart stay in the accessibility section accessibility section you have got the magnifying gestures which can actually turn off or turn on and also enhanced web ability and that's it you have got the another option like mobility tap and hold the delay also you have got the new option like that is the voice command once enabled you get a bunch of options to choose from so these are the various things which are there as you can see that here in about device after enabling the developer options Developer options will be there. So there are various new settings in the developer mode. Another thing, the memory. As you can see, that the RAM usage is reduced to 630 MB out of 828 MB of usable. So that was there. Let's try to play some videos. You can see that there's a video sample video. As you can see that you can actually zoom into the video. So that is again a brilliant part. And you can stop and also you can actually zoom into the video. Which is again a best part of this new firmware. Though the image is a bit pixelating due to poor video quality but the same thing can be checked out as you can see that a red mark which will indicate the zooming of the device so this is the one and also another thing in extended menu was a multi window which is there obviously in previous versions of firmware as well now let's check out the camera what exactly the new features are there in the camera so here is a camera in camera settings you have got a bunch of options that is edit shortcuts, burst shot self portrait etc there are no new features which are there in the camera I 
you'll also get the free 50 GB Dropbox along with this firmware and also in the settings and display you've got an option of daydream to control what happens when the device is docked or enabling the same you can enable the daydream while charging you can start now for getting a glimpse of it there's a daydream option also you can actually or else you can also choose from the photo frame or the photo table there's a smart stay feature there's a smart rotation feature so that's it so that's a quick demo of the new firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S3 which is Dell Bean 4.2.1. Do stay tuned to our channel for more updates. Thank you.